All right, here's uh, four rational expression uh, application questions. First one has the ratio of weight of an object on the moon to the weight of, on Earth is 0.16 to 1. So 0.16 to 1. So this would be moon and this would be Earth. Okay, so then they say, how much will a 180 pound astronaut weigh on the moon? So on Earth, he weighs 180 pounds. And so I wouldn't know what that would be. Okay, it's a rational equation because I've got fractions involved. So I, I can solve this a number of different ways. I could uh, multiply both sides by 180, uh, or I could look for the lowest common denominator. Could do ratio proportion, multiply 0.16 times 180 divided by 1. Uh, since we're doing the rational equation, I'll follow how they do it. So it's find a common denominator. So the denominator is 180. I'll multiply this side by 180, multiply this side by 180. So these cancel, and so now all I have to do is go 180 times 0.16, divide 1, done. Um, not sure what that comes out to. You can do that on the calculator. Here's another one. To determine the number of lake and the trout, cons conservationist catches 112 trout, trout, tags them, releases them back into the lake. Uh, so there's 112 trout that are tagged. Later, 82 trout are caught, and 32 of them are tagged. So how many trout are in the lake? So um, it seems like we've got tagged fish versus total fish. That's the ratio that we're looking at. So uh, in the first time, uh, they tagged 112 trout, but I don't know how many fish were actually in the lake. There would have been a whole lot more than that. But then after the second time, they catch a total of 82 fish. Those are the total on the bottom. And 32 of them are tagged. So now if I figure out this ratio, I should be able to do, um, answer the question. Lowest common denominator is 82x. So I can multiply both sides by 82x. 82x. Uh, on this side, the 82s cancel. So I'm left with 32x. And on this side, the x's cancel. I'm left with 82 times 112. Dividing both sides by 32. So I'll get x is equal to whatever 82 times 112 divided by 32 comes out to. Okay, there's another one. Here's the third one. A rope is 28 feet long. How can the rope be cut in such a way that the ratio of the two resulting segments is 3 to 5? This is sort of a funny question. So, um, uh, three to five, so this would be like the short one versus the long one. But the number 28 is a total distance. It, it's not just uh, uh, a part of a distance. So uh, to get my ratio, I don't think I can use both a short and a long one. But if they were, if the short one was three and the long one was five, what would the total distance be of just that rope? It'd be eight, right? So I could set up the ratio this way. So 3 is the short one, versus 8 is your total length. So if your total length instead of 8 is 28, then what would the uh, shorter side be? Again, to solve this, I can find the lowest common denominator. I'm just going to multiply both sides by 28 times 8. 28 times 8. So on this side, the 8s cancel. And I have 28 times 3. On the other side, the 28th cancel. So I'm left with 8x. I'll divide both sides by 8. So x is equal to, I could almost figure this one out. 4 will go into that 7 times 3 divided by 2. So it would be 21 over 2. Or x would be 11.5. So the shorter length would be 11.5. <clears throat> And then the longer one will be 28 minus 11.5, or 16.5, I think. So that would be the length of the two ropes. Last question. Adventure tours of six leisure tour trolleys that travel 15 miles per hour slower than the three express tour buses. Uh, the bus travels 102 miles in the time it takes the trolley to travel 99 miles. So time is the same. So the question says uh, how fast 
do each of them go? And I do know, let, let, let's set up our whole thing. So I have distance, rate, and time. And let's do the trolley and the bus. So the distance that the trolley goes is 99, and the bus goes 132. The rate we don't know, but if we call the rate x, then the bus goes 50 miles an hour faster than that. So it'd be x plus 15. If you did x minus 15 on the top one and just x on the bottom, that would be fine too. Maybe I should do that. Um, both will turn out, uh, it'll turn out the same. But uh, So this is x minus 15. So I don't know how fast the bus is going, but I know the trolley is going 15 slower. And it says they do it in the same time. So both of these would be time. So if time is the thing that's the same, I need to rework this formula to solve for time. So I'll divide both sides by r. So I get time is equal to distance divided by the rate. So the distance divided by the rate uh, of the is equal to the time of the trolley. And time of the bus is also equal to distance over rate. So the distance that the trolley travels is 99, divided by its rate is x minus 15. Okay, and that's the trolley. trolley. And the bus, its distance was 132, divided by its rate is just x. But this time is equal to this time. Therefore, 99 over x minus 15 must be equal to 132 over x. Okay, let me shrink things a bit. So now um, I can use um, our idea of lowest common denominator. Lowest common denominator will be x and x minus 15. So I'll multiply both sides by x and x minus 15. x and x minus 15. So on the left side, the x minus 15s go. Left was 99x. On the right, the x's go, and I'm left with 132x minus, I <laughs> uh, can't do that one in my head, whatever 132 times 15 is. Okay, and uh, once I've got this figured out, um, uh, then I want to get my x's together. So on this side, I think it would be 31x. Is that right? No, 33x. 33x. And 132 times 15. Uh, what's that? I guess I need a calculator out. Might as well solve this one. Okay. Calculator. 132 times 15. 1980. Okay, so I moved this to this side and subtract it. And then this thing, I multiplied and took it to this side and made it and changed its sign from negative to positive. Now I just have to go 1980 divided by 33. Oh, it comes out even. Got to like that. So x is 60. So what is x? x is the speed that the bus is going. So um, if the bus is going 60, then the trolley's got to go uh, 15 slower than that. So the trolley would be going 45. Hopefully that helps you with those four questions.